Well, hello, friends. This is your good buddy, Howard Hoffman, coming at you with week number two blog of uh, my journey to uh, see if I can do a little better, especially in regards of uh, weight. Um, what have I done? Gains, losses, so forth and such. This is going to be rather short today. What I've attempted to do and had pretty good success with is uh, continue to walk. Uh, we're walking about uh, 2.6 miles a day. I've got up to a speed which is fairly decent uh, for not having done it that long of uh, 3.1 mile per hour uh, on on my better days. Some days, you know, maybe the legs or the back doesn't feel quite like that, but 3.1, and I'm not running, I'm not jogging, uh, but that's a fairly okay pace. If you can get to a 4 uh, four mile per hour uh, mile in a walk, that's really good. Uh, I'm not there because <laughs> I'm still pretty large, but that's okay. I have made progress because I started at about a 2.3 or a 2.4 mile per hour mile. So I've increased up to 3.1 in a really short time. And I am, I'm pretty amazed at that quite, quite frankly, and I'm very happy with it now. Uh, I've continued to juice, to cut caloric intake. Just, I'm not sitting there and making all kind of calculations. I know people do that, and that's nice. But I have tried to renew my mind. I'm going to have a sermon. I, I might share this on my homepage. It's a great thing. I'm a preacher, and I'm not trying to preach here on my weight loss channel, but the renewing of the mind is what really helps you out. And if you don't renew your mind, you're going to stay with the same habits and do the same things. And I've been renewing my mind and some different thoughts and moving forward and trying to keep track with that. And pretty much I've had some success. I told you I was on a weight. I was at 281 last week. I will tell you the good. I will tell you the bad. It's not, not terrible, bad, but I will tell you the bad. Uh, yesterday morning I was at 275, 275, so I'd lost six pounds since last Thursday when I made my initial blog. Yesterday morning I was at 275, six, six pounds down, but last evening I went to a little party and I didn't go crazy, but people brought a lot of little different things and I just took very small portions so I could say I had some of everyone's. And I got on the scale this morning, oh my, I've gained a pound. Now, here's the issue with that. That's not the end of the world, but I have to make sure it's not the beginning of the end of the world. So today, I might have to really try to uh, pick it up just a little bit uh, in my pace. When I go up very shortly, I'm going out for the walk here. And uh, I may even actually make a jog step or two. I want to make sure that I get my kind of breathe it a little bit. You know, I don't want to be going like I'm in a lazy river floating down, you know, in one of those amusement places on an inner tube. You know, I got to get my breath going a little bit where I'm struggling. The physical fitness experts say that uh, uh, you need to have maybe difficulty speaking to somebody cause you're, you know, while you're walking, if, if you're at that pace with your, with your breathing. And so that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Uh, maybe push it just a little bit extra day. Because you know what? I need to get back to the 275 lows at yesterday. And uh, the way I'm going to do that is to burn some extra calories. But I want to tell you, I am happy. Uh, because um, when, uh, when I was at 278 or 279, I uh, got off work. And I said, oh, you know what I'm going to do? Because I have um, lost I'm at 39 this morning. I was at 40 yesterday, 40 pounds lost. So uh, I'm real excited to show you something here. I'm not going to go crazy with it, but I'll be wearing these later today. Oh, I went out and uh, <laughs> got myself another pair of jeans there because uh, I'm down a size. Good thing to celebrate now. Um, so there they are. And I just bought one pair because I hope to go further. So we'll just have to work with what I got till it goes down further. But that's some success. 
and you can have some success too. But putting the thing, whatever the thing is in your life, for me right now, it's getting in better physical condition. I'm taking a walk, trying to do that every day. It makes me feel good when I do it. Uh, I'm eating less. I'm doing the juice. It makes me feel good. My mind is being renewed. My mind is being changed. My habits are being changed. And those are good things. Uh, and will you have, I have told these little bit of results, not to impress you. Uh, they've happened for me. We're all different. Your results may be totally different. But if you are doing the right things, it will be good things. And if you're not doing the right things, well, it's you're not going to get the change that you want. <laughs> Sometimes we delude ourselves uh, into thinking, well, I can do this and I can do that and things will change. They say that's the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a change. So we have to change. A lot of that comes from within our mind. The initial, and then as we initially say, I'm going to change. I refuse to not change. I am going to change. And as those changes occur, the habits will follow. So hopefully this hasn't been too long. God bless each and every one of you. I'm real happy today and I want to encourage all of you to uh, make some good choices, renew your mind, have some success today. God bless you. Have a great week. We'll talk to you next week.